Your Honor, it's probably an understatement to say that police were dealing with an unprecedented situation on February 20th of last year. This is not the time or place to go into the scope of that investigation other than what we've heard of today. But with regard to Mr. Dalton, what the court has before it is two different interviews, separated in time, separated in place, separated by the agency of the people who conducted them, and two different interviews that were conducted for two very different purposes. At the time that Detective Moray and Detective Gearingelli talked to Mr. Dalton, they were in the midst of a developing situation. They had information that there were multiple people dead at multiple scenes all over the county. And as the detective said, when he walked into that room, he had reason to believe that there could be even more dead and injured than he knew about. They, had, they didn't have a lot of information. And what they also didn't have is the benefit of the hindsight that we have now. As we've established, I don't think it's a secret to say we believe that Mr. Dalton acted alone. We don't believe there was other defendants. Fortunately, the tragedy was limited to the three scenes that police were aware of at the time. But the city detectives didn't know that at the time. What they knew was that an unprecedented amount of people had been killed and injured. And their job in that interview was not to get testimonial evidence. It wasn't to get things that they could come in and use at trial later for some kind of presentation in front of a jury. It was to keep this community safe. It was to get whatever information they needed to limit the harm that had already been done and provide assistance to the people who were out there that was injured. And, and as the detective said, as their information, as they were getting information, sheriff's departments were out on D Avenue north of town searching the ditches in the middle of the night to make sure that people were safe, to make sure that that this community was safe from harm. And at the minute they walked into that room, only one person knew the full extent of what had happened that night. And they believed that that person was Jason Dalton. 